Have you found the last two? Not yet. But we believe we're close. And they still don't know we're hunting them. You believe you're close? They're two children in a billion. Finding them is like finding a lost chopstick in China. Is that what you want me to tell the board? Remind the board that I've already found 15 of 17 children. It's just a matter of time before we Time isn't them. on our side. Those kids are already too old. You know how difficult they are to turn at this age. I know better than anyone, but I have my ways. And if they don't turn, there's always cell 25. My name is Michael Vey, and there's something you don't know about me. Something that scares people more than you would believe. It's my secret, and it's part of the story I'm about to tell you. I've always thought I was the only one in the world like this, but I'm not. There are other kids like me, and someone or something is hunting us. I don't know what they want. I don't know how this is going to turn out but I think they've found me. I found the uh, one of the trailers. Uh, it's a uh, for Michael Vay, the prisoner of Cell Twenty Five, and it is at uh, Glenbeck.com right now. I want you to know um, that um, this is when I when I said is. May I tell the uh, Kevin? Do you know? Can I tell the whole story about how this happened? Does Does Richard mind if I tell the whole story of how this book came together? Uh, when you say the whole story, which, uh, which part of the, story? the part of where he called me up? That's, that's oh, fine, yeah, yeah. Right? That's yeah, yeah. Totally okay. Fine. So this is back in January. Um, and I had just decided to leave, um, uh, Fox news and I'm, I know that I'm supposed to reach out to, uh, the youth and we're supposed to strengthen the youth. If we lose the youth, um, we're doomed. And, Kevin, Kevin is the uh, the head of our book division, Mercury Inc., which is the new division from uh, from us. Uh, Kevin, what is the um, what was the name of that, or how long did we work on that that uh, children's history book? A year? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, at least a year. Okay, we had art done for it, and I don't think we've ever we've done two books like this this year that we've gotten to the press date and we've said, no, can't do it. It's not right. Um. And one of them was our first history book. And I told you that we were going to do a history book. And um, I'm reading it, and I, we keep going over it and over and over, and it's just not right. And I'm thinking, how do we teach these values without being crappy and sappy and, you know, books that kids will look at and go, oh, please. I get a phone call, uh, and this is back in January, from Richard Paul Evans. In case you don't know him, he has sold millions of books. He's one of the biggest authors, biggest selling authors of, uh, you know, I don't, I don't even know how long. Um, and um, uh, he calls me up and he says, Glenn, I have to tell you a story. I've taken dictation on a book. And I said, all right, what does that mean? And he said, I, I, I'm telling you, I just, I just finished uh, a book and it's a seven book series. And I said, Wow. And he said, I know it's a seven book series because I'm writing this book. And he said, I'm just, I'm never before has this ever happened to me. And he said, I'm just writing the book. And he said, it's flying out. And I don't even know what some of the stuff means. I'm like, well, what is that? And he said, well, I would, I would hear in my head, that's book three. Oh, write it down. He said, so he, he completes this whole story and he's fascinated by the process because it's never happened this way before. And uh, he said, I'm looking at the names and I write all the names of the characters down. And, and I know because I write books, when you do character names, usually they come from some place. And we're, we've got a, 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 a new story that I've worked on for six years now uh, coming out at Christmas. And uh, we had a big debate on one of the names. Who is it going to be and what's the name, blah, blah, blah. Usually you, you, there's something that that name comes from. 
He said, I'm looking at all the character names, and he said, I don't know any of these people. I don't know any of the character names. He said, and then I just look, and I just happen to notice as I have them listed, you know, straight down on the edge of a page. He said, I look at the first, the first letter of each of the names. He said, the first one is Mount Zion. He said, if I take the first letter out of each of their names, it's Mount Zion. He said, that's, you know, that's, that's Israel. He said, and then the good guys, he said, their first letter of each name is I-A-M. He said, you were on that day talking about uh, Israel, and you mentioned I am, how the power of I am. He said, I had chills and I had to call because I know that you don't have a publisher or anything else. He said, but I'm telling you, there's something you're supposed to, you're supposed to do something with this book. I said, Richard, nobody knows this yet. We won't be announcing it for several months, but we just signed a deal with Simon & Schuster. I am a publisher. And he said, you've got to be kidding me. I said, let me read the book. He sent it to me. I read it. And it is fantastic. It's everything I was looking for. It's a book where your kids will never see these things coming. You won't even see them. It's a great, you know how most people, they'll try to teach values and then they'll wrap a story around it. This is a great story that happens to have values. Um, and I don't want to tell you what they are because I'll, I don't want to wreck the story because it's a great story. Um, so <clears throat> I was very nervous because I read it and then um, uh, Kevin uh, read it right away and several, I passed it on to Pat right away. We, we had everybody read it. I gave it to my daughter, uh, Hannah, who is, she was the one in the family that turned us on to um, Harry Potter she was the one who turned us on to um, uh, Stephanie Meyer and Twilight. And Stu, do you remember when we were over at CNN and no one, because Hannah was like, Twilight, I'm telling you, this Twilight thing is huge. And we're, I was like, I want to get a hold of Stephanie Meyer. Oh, no. Who, who? Stephanie, who? Oh, yeah. And nobody knew even who she was, and Hannah was way ahead. Oh, I had I had never heard of her before. This yeah. is, I mean, the book had sold some copies, but it was not like a phenomenon no. like it wound up being. And uh, so Hannah was, and Hannah's only said it's about two books, Harry Potter, which she still has not seen any of the movies because she loves the book so much. She doesn't want the movie to wreck the book. And it was the, it was the shaping of her childhood. That's what, how she'll remember childhood is, you know, when those books would come out and uh, the others uh, are, are um, uh, Twilight. She, I gave it to her, and it, at the time, it was called The Electric Cheerleader. It was just a, a, ba a hand-bound copy, and it said The Electric Cheerleader. And uh, I hated the name. And uh, I gave it to her, and she looked at me, and, she, and I said, would you just read this book? And she said, oh, you've got to be kidding me, Dad. The Electric Cheerleader. And I said, just, I don't want to say anything about it. Just read this book. Tell me what you think. She came to me two days later, and she said, Dad, now you know how I feel about Harry Potter. And I said, yes, I do. And she said, I think this is the same kind of book as Harry Potter and Twilight. I said, oh, I thought so too. We've had about 10, we've had about a thousand families try this book out and read it and then tell us what they thought. It is getting some of the highest reviews of books that have been, um, uh, have been out in the last, what, 10, 20 years. What is the thing on good, good reads where people, it's, it's, all five stars. Great book. You're going to love it. It's called The Prisoner of Cell 25, the first in the Michael Vay series. 